Good weekend, everyone. It's Jules. Thanks for coming to another stitch with me or stitch along or I don't even know what we call these things. <laughs> I'm always getting confused. But uh, I'm going to work on some Ronnie Row today. Uh, Market Square Tavern. I always forget that too. Must be getting old. Keep forgetting things. We're uh, really up close and personal today with the cross stitch. I, I, I swear, it's just like I always forget about getting a new stand or some kind of new holder for the phone for these videos. Um, and I always forget about it until it's time to do the next video. And then I'm like, oh man, I need to get something. And um, this thing is so jerry-rigged right now that it is... It won't surprise me at some point if something just kind of falls off, but we're just going to have to, we're just going to make do. I apologize for the fact that I think the video last week was upside down. I did not even catch that in the editing process. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't catch that in the editing process, but um, anyway, sorry about that. that. I know that can be, if you are actually watching, can be disorienting, um, but... I hope to get it right this time. It is a function of the jerry rigging of the camera, I believe. But also, sometimes my phone has a mind of its own. It likes to do things. One, one, two, two. But I've already worked on this project some this week, so progress is being made more and more. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. It's going to look awesome when it's done. I don't, oh, I was like, I don't know what my husband's watching. I can hear my husband's watching something, but it's some kind of sci fi show that I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's, it's a bit crazy, a bit weird. A lot of crazy sounds coming out of it. Ah, I pulled that right out. Um, so. I'm not watching World Cup right now. I don't know. It's funny. I should have watched so much soccer, but there, you know, it's the timing of it. It's in the mornings. I'm at work usually, and then this this week is. I mean, I don't know. It's just been it's been a weird summer so far. A lot of uh, a lot of visitors, a lot of people from out of town coming in, uh, a lot of changes to the schedule, and uh, but I think after. I think pretty much going forward, I think we're going to be uh, doing pretty good. So, had a bit of a uh, issue with the dogs again this week, with Bailey in particular, the one who um, had peed on my cross stitch the other, uh, that one time. Well, so Thursday when I was um, uh, out and about with a friend of mine, got a call that my neighbor had my dog and I was like uh well that's weird because all my dogs are actually like put up and inside the house and nobody was left outside so I got home and got the dog from the neighbor and you know came you know went inside and looked to see what happened and sure enough uh, Bailey busted through a screen and this was a screen that she hadn't busted through before um it was uh, um the one right next to the crafting table so she got up on the crafting table again, scattered everything all over the place, did pee on E Pluribus Unum. I don't think it was malicious. I think she just, in, the, in her effort to try to get um, uh, to, to get out of the window, I think she just did that to herself. Hold on, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. Hell. But um, that was... Um, that was uh that was disconcerting because she basically she had um, broken through the screen kind of broke that particular screen um, like the frame and everything and um, knocked some stuff off the grill because she kind of came over the grill to get out and uh, and then worked very diligently on the multi-layered fence that we have outside she worked on it for a very long time. Uh, to get a hole open enough that she could get out. So that wasn't fun to come home to. Um, 
And I didn't know about, I, I knew that there must be a way that she got out. And when I first walked outside and just looked, I didn't see the hole. I just, just I just kind of, you could see where she had attempted to kind of go over the fence. And I thought, oh, she just went over the fence. Went to feed the dogs eventually. And Topher got out and started running around in the in the field behind our house. and uh, But I was able to get him back through the hole. But uh, when my husband got home, he, he put another couple layers over the hole and... So that should help for a while, but I'm telling you that Bailey dog. Oh, and then she um, she apparently also um, while she was freaking out inside the house, or I don't know what she decided she wanted to do, but when she puts her mind to it, she definitely can cause a lot of havoc. But she had um, uh, also attempted to get upstairs to the where the cat is because the um, carpet in front of the door to go upstairs was all ripped up. Um, and so I was like, all right, well, she's going to have to, you know, she can't be left out now for a while. I mean, I'm not saying it's permanent, but uh, she definitely can't be left outside for, or left out, you know, loose for a while. And my, my husband had the day off yesterday and uh, he was doing a lot of errands and um, uh, just uh, working on the, the patio and just a lot of different things. And he had to run out for a couple hours and he came back and you could see where she had attempted to bust through a different screen and try it again to get to the cat. And um, and it kind of reinforced to us both that, okay, we, we definitely have to just start cracking down on her again because she just starts to get, like, I, I don't, it's every once in a while, she'll just turn super rebellious and she uh, reaches a point where she just wants to, like, get out and do stuff and doesn't want to be held inside. I'm just highlighting here. Um, she would make a great farm dog. Um, it's unfortunate that we don't have the kind of land that she would have really, um, you know, just to be able to kind of get out and roam and, you know, she, I think she really would have liked that, but you know, it's not just, it's just not where we are. So she is a different dog for sure. She is the most different dog that I've ever had from a standpoint of how independent and somewhat aloof that she can be at times. So, but anyway, we need to make more of an effort, take her to the dog park some, let her get out of the house so she feels like she's, you know, doing stuff. But anyway, so that was, that was my Thursday. And uh, so I spent another couple hours after that and just cleaning up the cross stitch stuff and everything's fine. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't angry like I was the first time when she peed on stuff, you know, I just like, Oh, well, well, I guess I need to, I guess I did need to clean up because despite the fact that I have the bins with, you know, when I have the organization, the, the bins with all the different colors and everything, I, I had been making more and more of a mess and needed to, needed to clean up. And so that, Got me to clean up for sure. Two, two, two. So that was my Thursday afternoon. And then Thursday night was uh, working on some stuff. Let's see, which ones have I done? I've done, I had worked on E Pluribus Unum before she messed it up. Um, so I did make some progress on that one. Uh, finished the page, Rainy Waterloo Place. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I worked on this one. Um, worked on, I've worked on Reaper quite a bit. And I worked some of the Dachshund again, more, more of the purple on the Dachshund. So, uh, we got that going. So that's good. I need to get... Cracking on Old World Map 2, and what else? I need to finish the page in Apothecary Shop, and I need to grid. I actually brought the gridding pen up, so I think after this video, I'm going to grid some of the Greenwich Village, and then grid the baseball. Oh, that's the other thing I did. So I was looking for the... Um, next page of baseball and I can't find it. I have uh, a thing where I 
Um, I believe at one point, I think I separated out like the next so many pages of apothecary shop and baseball and set and put them like in a new sleeve, whatever, and then just put them someplace. Cause I found the one for apothecary shop that has like the next like 10 pages in it or whatever. Um, but I couldn't find the one for baseball. So I, it's downstairs, I believe with my stuff. Um, and, uh, where's the needle? So it's downstairs somewhere. So that'll be my goal for today. I got to find the next page for that one. And yeah, yeah. I have a lot of stitching to do today, which is good. And I have time on which to do it. Probably run out to the store real quick for some stuff. We have a Diet Dr. Pepper shortage apparently again. And um, it's hard to find that stuff, man. There's, I think there's some other fellow addicts in the area that tend to uh, go in and load up on it the way that I do. So there will be times you go in and it's like the only thing that's not stocked. It's like, dang it. Come on, people. So... Got that, got like a vertebrae or whatever, some muscles like my upper back that are being very tight, a little messed up today, but I know I can stretch it out. I just got to move around a little bit more. Haven't done a whole lot. I mean, I just got up, but got to do more, got to do more. Do, do, do. Let's highlight a little bit, shall we? Do, do, do. Oh, man. Here we go. Ah! Oh. Bending forward to rethread this needle. <laughs> I'm like, ah, this is my back. And the way I'm sitting, it's going to definitely affect that. I don't always have the best posture when stitching, I think. Oh, man. Let's see. Listening to my husband's, I don't know what he's listening to now, but it was, it's interesting. Some kind of singing. Oh, I turned it. Oh, I could be watching Wimbledon too, but oh well. Ah, oh, well. Bink, bink, bink. Bink, bink, bink. See, I just knocked that to the side a little bit. This is not a bad way to stitch, the way I have this set up. It's just... A little cumbersome, but not too bad. Not too shabby. It's still kind of warm. It's not terrible, but it's still oh, stretching. It's still kind of warm in the uh, in Denver. I think it's going to be like 90 degrees today or something. So 
it's one of those things where, <clears throat> I mean, we've got another month solid before we can start getting cooler days. I think tomorrow's going to be in the 80s or something. I can't wait till we start having days in the 70s again, but it's all right. been so busy like this year as compared to other years where I'm like I can remember how I like used to count down like okay well football starts here and training camp starts here and hockey ends here and you know and really like time out my um time out the or not time out but sketch out the calendar and whatnot and looking forward to certain days but it's funny because I'm so busy with so many different things now that I'm just like, oh my gosh, like football training camp is going to start in a week. And I, you know, wasn't even thinking about that. And so, but it's all good. It's all good. My husband keeps saying, uh, let's make a trip to the stitching shop. Let's make a trip. And I'm just like, honey, I don't have anything to like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm stocked up right now and I got all my projects and I'm like, I need to finish some things before I start to like get more fabric to do other things. And, and so, and I am getting there. I'm definitely going to have like a rush of some finishes coming up, but it's just funny because he's just, he just wants me to like be happy and have things and he knows how much I love stitching. He knows, and he knows how much I like to go to the stitching shop, but when you don't really, you know, when you don't really have anything, I mean, I could, if I lived really close, I'd be there all the time. I think I'd just be like, what do we have this week? And, um, but it's a bit of a haul and, and I tend to think of it in terms of, I could have been cross stitching at home and getting more stuff done. But that's just how I'm, how I'm wired. But it's kind of funny. But I will be going soon to get stuff. But that's a, that's a big but. What movie was that from? I don't remember some cartoon or something, animation. I'm gonna watch Coco again today. Really wanna watch Coco. Mama Coco. Mama Coco. Mama Coco, Mama Coco. All right, get that part done. Shoo! Let's see here. Let's let's just stretch this all the way over here. Bum 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 bum. Seven. Seven. I got that one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry I put that in your head. Somebody else put that in my head. Let's not make this an extreme close-up, huh? probably do some yoga. I did do that for a while before. It helped with my strength and stretching. And you 
can just it's awesome. I mean, YouTube is awesome. You can just find anything you want to on YouTube. Stretches in. One of these times. Oh, my back pop, but it's not this time. Nope. Okay. I was working on a Reaper last night, and it's um, it's deceptive because hold on, uh, don't move camera. It's a bit deceptive because because it's an 18 count, and I don't do very many 18 counts. It's uh, anymore. Uh, it's funny how I um, uh, like I'll just be stitching and stitching and stitching. It just at times it doesn't feel like I'm making any progress. Because it's like, oh, I didn't know it didn't, make, didn't look like it was that much, but. Versus like my 14 count pieces where I, you, know, you stitch and, you know, you can really see that you're making progress. Sometimes that those 18 counts are deceptive for me now. But I did get quite a bit done. I stitched for probably about three hours on that last night, so. I know I got a lot done. I keep putting off watching Game of Thrones. Oh, my husband raves about it. I know everybody watches it and loves it. I don't know what it is. I used to watch TV and I used to watch movies all the time. And now I'm just a YouTube watcher and it's just... I mean, I, I, that's what I want to do. I love watching YouTube videos and stuff, but I guess I have a hard time focusing on one thing for a while nowadays. Hmm. Whoopsies. But... I don't know. I know it's going to be great. I know I need to watch it. I still didn't watch Luke Cage Season 2. Got to do that. And, uh... Well, that was pretty bad. Let's just put another one there on top. So it actually looks good. There we go. That's better.
It's a good start to my weekend, stitch-wise, though. You know what? I'm just going to tie you off here because you are a problem. Problem thread. Making progress. Making progress. So good, guys. So good to be making progress. Where did I put the rest of it? There it is. Come here, you. Still trying to pop that old back. I'll work on it. It'll be good. Maybe I'll do some. Maybe I will do some yoga today. We'll see. But I was, when I was doing the Reaper, I was laughing. Or I wasn't laughing, but I was like just shaking my head because I remember thinking, oh, will I get this done before Halloween? And I'm like, no way. There's too many stitches, dude. Just because it, it looks smaller doesn't mean that it's any less stitches. It's just kind of funny. in. Did I tell you how the cat woke me up this morning? Look in my forehead. Apparently he was out of food and he needed to be fed because he was going to die otherwise. So I kind of, I sort of woke up and then I kind of rolled over and kind of was dozing a little bit and all of a sudden I felt the cat licking my forehead. It's funny because he, he goes after, well, he doesn't go after, he approaches my husband and I differently in terms of how he, how he asks things from us or how he shows affection or just whatever. He's a funny bunny, that cat. Snails are doing really well. 
babies are growing. I think I counted 15 the other day that were all over the thing, all over the... So they're doing a great job of cleaning up the tank because <laughs> that tank had gotten kind of nasty and, uh, well, it was what uh, enabled them to thrive and grow and be born and whatnot, but it was just, it's just pretty amazing. I just I love those little guys. Mystery snails are my favorite, so it's going to be interesting to see these guys. But they grow so huge. I mean, it can be like big, mar big marble-sized um, little creatures. And uh, there, there's no way they can all live in that tank together. It's, it's like a two- or three-gallon tank, so they're going to have to... When they get big enough that I think that they could survive on their own or, or that I can transplant them and have them live, let's just say that. <coughs> they, um, then I'll, I'll, I'll transfer a couple of them, but. I'll tell you how I used to put together jigsaw. I mean, before I discovered cross stitching, I was a jigsaw puzzle person, and um, I uh, my biggest puzzle ever was about a, I think it was seven thousand pieces. It was the um, Sistine Chapel ceiling. So it's pretty awesome. I uh, when I finally got it all together, I think I was missing pieces and stuff. Of course, you know, because it had, I had moved with it a couple times and. When I finally got it all laid out and everything, it was just kind of a mess. And, uh, I, uh, definitely didn't, um, didn't really want to keep it after I'd kind of put together, you know, it's like, ah, you know, okay, I'm done. Time to do something else. Thankfully, now I do them on the computer, so it makes a lot less of a mess. That's for sure. Two, one. I have a goal to finish every puzzle in the um, catalog of this particular game program or whatever, which is just going to take me forever. It's just kind of funny that way. A snag, but it must have come free on its own. And I did paint by number when I was a little kid. I just have always liked sort of finishing things, working on things, busy work, you know, kind of things. Just gotta feel like I'm working towards something. At least with cross stitch, you're left with, you know, at the end, a beautiful piece of art, really. So that's the really nice piece of, or part of it. Two 
two, three. One, two, one. I'm really eager to get started on this next page of the baseball piece. I just hope I can find it. I mean, worst case scenario, I just have to buy the pattern again and download it. Um, I think I downloaded it last time, so it wouldn't be that huge of a deal. But I know I have it somewhere, so... Making progress, making progress. Ah! One more stitch and... Ah! See? I'm like, one more stitch and I'm going to tie this one off, but... It knows that I want to do that, so it's going to keep pulling through because I'm being careless. Careless stitching. Careless stitching. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Right. Hooray! All right, let's highlight. It's a smidge. A smidgen. Boy, that just sounds so loud, doesn't it? My goodness. It's ridiculously loud. All right. I'm going to take this off my eyeballs for a second. I've got to pull out some more. Pull out some more 310, people. Let's fix this a little bit. A smidge, a smidge of fix goes a long way. And I, I think I just bopped it again. I bopped it. I mm bopped it. Alrighty. Let's see. Almost done with this particular part.
The husband is smoking the pork. He is uh, cleaning the kitchen while he's smoking the pork. He is a cleaner of the highest order, which is great because I can be, I can also be disorganized to the highest order. Oh man, that spot in my back just wants to be an issue. It's like, hey, remember me? Here, okay, you forgot? All right, here you go. Let me just hurt you again. Because I'm slumping a little bit as I do this. Don't pull out the thread. Let's see here. Right. Sorry guys, probably just got whiplash there for me hitting that thing. Things are just getting in the way. Suzu got in trouble downstairs. She is so mischievous, that Suzu. I just need to grab the ball and throw it for her for like 30 minutes, tire her out. Actually, what would really tire her out, I have like a vest for her. You can actually put like little weights and stuff in there. So she's carrying around extra weight and it, it helps build her strength, but it also tires her out a lot better than just you know, plain old whatever. I'm right, gonna come all the way up here. Oh, now you're wobbling. Now you're wobbling. Wibbly wobbly. Wait, 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 wait. Almost did that wrong. Here, here. Do 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 do. It's starting to get a bit warm in this room. Probably be finishing up with this one piece of thread here as we go along. Get our stuff here. Whoops. Get in there. There we go. And it's gonna I hope you guys are going to be able to see come, you know, in the weekly update when the weekly update comes here. 
that um, see how close we are to finishing because we are getting really close it's getting ridiculous ridiculous and awesome all at the same time ridiculously awesome Go, go. I don't think she's up here. I just like to sometimes just call her name. Because she cracks me up. Yeah, that was what I was supposed to do. Excelente. Ooh, ah. My hair is falling down on my face. I don't like it. Definitely need to get a haircut. Trim back some of the ponytail. That would be good. Mm, the cat has decided to come in and use the litter box while I'm here. As he always does. I'm like, that's alright, buddy. You do what you gotta do. You just be you, Mercury. You just be you. Oh, no way he's eating. <laughs> he's like, oh, I've, I've worked up so much of an appetite getting off the bed, getting back on the bed, and then getting off the bed again. I'm starving. He's so dainty when he eats. Oh, no, he's drinking. Golly, you think I would know what the cat's doing, but... I can't really see him. It's the table's blocking my view, so... It's not totally pathetic that I can't tell what he's doing just from listening to him, but it's kind of pathetic. You'd think I would know. Okay. I think this is where I'm going to stop with the stitch part. Do 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 do. Where are those skeezers? There they are. Skeezers. 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 All right. So let's see. What have we done today? We did this, and we did this. Did we do some of that? I can't remember. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. And I think I've done this, you know, this week, I think. I think. I have to watch the video back and see where I was last week, but I only got, I mean, you can see it. I mean, it's pretty much, I want to say, like, it comes to about here. So, like, if I fill in, like, what you can see, or not fill it in, but, you know, do the stitching for that, that's all I have left. That is crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So, let's see. Let's throw that over here for a second. Let's see. We got baseball. Forget baseball. I mean, no, don't forget baseball, but this is my thread for... Thread. This is my fabric for old uh, Greenwich Village. So, I was just... Just pulling that out here. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. Oh, let's focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna. I can't. I can't record myself gritting because I. I have to look so close when I'm doing it that I can't do that. But I think I'll. I think I'll attempt to get started on it. 
um, and just grid out like the first page or part of the first page or so, so I can just maybe at some point this weekend just pull some thread out and just just to get started on it because uh, gosh knows I need to keep thinking about this project. So, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for joining me. Hope you uh, got some progress done on your piece, and I hope that uh, you continue to love stitching the way that I do. Well, not the way that I do, but love stitching as much as I do. And um, I will see you with the next update. And check out the blog because um, every day I'm, or almost every day, I'm putting up pictures of things when I stitch on them and show you kind of how far I've gotten. And I'll I'll put a picture up of the. Um, uh, Ronnie Rowe piece that we just worked on um, so so that'll be good alright guys uh, have a great weekend stay cool talk to you later